Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish, and I'm here looking at Netflix. It had a really nice move today. We made it up to almost 370, and I said there was a possibility this could go to 375 today if the market had a big day, which the market did not, but it did get to 370, and I just want to look here again at the high, 369.83. I mean, that's close enough. So Netflix made a brand new all-time high today. I had called back here in the first to buy the 360 Netflix calls, and actually they were priced pretty decently. Considering a stock at this price point, this close to the number, I mean, this was so close to the strike to call that, they were cost about $6 and change, depending on where you get in, and that was a good price. This was a 200% return on investment. Why? Because if you bought it at around six, you could have sold this at around 13 something, and so you would have flipped around your money. And that's what you want to do. You want to turn it around. Your goal is to turn it around one. If you could turn it around two or more than two, that's amazing, which you could have done if you held this into today. First quick exit would have been yesterday, or even here you could have exited with money. It was profitable since I calls it. Ran up here, ran up here, ran up here. Anyways, it reached the high of the day around 10.30. Ten thirty, ten forty-five. Okay. Now I'm not saying Netflix isn't higher; it definitely is. But the option was out. You have to watch time value to the fifteenth. You've still got plenty of time left if you can stomach it. But again, it was a nice trade. It was a good risk to reward. No piggy targets. And I like Netflix. I've been discussing this. I said this was such such a strong chart. I would not be surprised if Netflix doubled in price in the next 12 to 24 months. I wouldn't put that out of the woods at all. In fact, I'd be shocked if it doesn't do that, quite frankly. 500 is definitely, definitely in sight, unless this bombs on the earnings in the next quarter, which, I mean, nobody knows. But I've said it for weeks and months that Netflix is one of the strongest charts in the market, one of the strongest stocks. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you were along Netflix, ride this puppy out. If you did the option and you were out today in an amazing move, if you are still in this trade from the people in the option letter, then, I mean, you think this is going to some sick number because I would not stay in this trade just to get it up to 375 if 370 was a really good target. I would only stay in this if you think this puppy is going to 385, 390, 395, 400. If you think this can run in the next 10 days, and 10 of those days, not every day of those days is actually trading days, but between now and the 15th of the trading days that are left, if you think that this stock can run up 30 plus points then stay in it otherwise i definitely would be out so i mean i'm just telling you i told everybody in the room today this is the exit on netflix for the for the move to get the move and people that cannot cannot stand to be up and see themselves wiggle and driggle had to get out yesterday but i definitely think it's worth holding something that's really really strong with the controls of the upside like this for a couple of days one two three four five um whether or not you want to hold it two weeks that's up to you Anyways, good luck everyone that is still in Netflix. You must really believe this is going to some crazy number if you're still in it. But today really I think was a perfect exit on this. I said 370 and it got within literally 17 cents of that. And so congratulations to everyone that did it and got out and had a wonderful trade. This you can learn in the Golden Gap class how to rate gaps like Netflix to trade them. There's benefits of doing options versus equity trading. Um, and if you're interested in more information, email me. Golden Gap Class is this weekend, June 9th and 10th. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.